So in this video, I'm going to show you the best encode settings for Adobe Premiere Pro. Or similar settings if you use different devices like GoPros or phones or whatever. So let's load um, Premiere Pro up. Now I've got version 2020. You'll probably have the latest up-to-date version because you can't actually buy the software in one or pay monthly. Right, so let's get this back in the middle. So I'm going to load up a previous project that might already be out before this video. I'm going to load the um, AMP win-off video. And the first thing you want to do before anything is actually drag the highest resolution and bitrate video into the timeline first. If you've recorded some at 4K, 20 megabits per second or whatever, then put that in first. Because if you're going to put some in that you recorded at 720p on an action camera or a drone, it's going to actually render the whole scene at 720p. So you want the highest resolution video in first. Right, once you've got everything sorted out, you want to select all that. And then you want to go to File. Whoops. And then you want to go to Export Media. Right, so yours should load up like this if you've not tweaked it. Um, in fact, I don't know what your it'll be loaded on. But we want H264. So click H624. Um, once you've selected that, it should be like that and match the source high bit rate. And all these should be preset for you. So you can check the resolution here. You can check the frames and then minimum. Well, target is going to do 10 megabits per second, but I don't think this video is 10 megabits per second. I think it's just, I think it's under two, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but you can check it here. Um... And then we'll scroll down here. All this should be same. You should have 60 FPS, progressive, and everything else. And if even if you live in the UK, you want to change that to probably NTS to get full 60 frames instead of 59 frames, but I'm sure that won't matter. And then you want to scroll down a bit more. Leave all that. That's all set. Unless you want to change the range yourself. Leave all that. That's all set. And you want to come to here, it should be on VBR1 pass. So I'll just leave that on there. Right, so this is the probably the important bit. So I somewhere, where is it? Can't do that. Uh, so look. So I need to check what resolution and rate it was. So I'll close that. There we go. Total bit rate, uh, 1639 kilobits. So that's probably about 1.6 kilobits. Let's double check that. Yeah, oh, that's megabits. Yes, 1.6. So as you can see here, the minimum you can do on this is actually, you can actually do it. We'll leave it at 10 anyway, so it gives it plenty of room. I broke it now. <laughs> Let's change it to the Mac bits right again. There we go. Let's change it back. So for some strange reason, it's suggesting we use 10 and maximum of 12. Maybe it needs extra room to do the sound and everything else. So just leave it like that. Now, if for instance, you've got a GoPro and you've recorded it on the highest settings and it's doing, I think on high, it does a hundred megabit per second, then this will be obviously a hundred and it'll say 10 again. So you want to change that to say something like 40 to 80. So you can compress it a little bit, but not too much. You'll have to experiment with these settings, but you will get it eventually if you want to compress it down. That was a weird noise. Right, so once you've done all that, you want to click use maximum render quality. And then you want to click Q. And then you'll have all your settings there, what's going to happen. And I've got two here for some strange reason. Let's remove that. And then all you want to do is click play. And then make sure if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card. Or maybe a AMD graphics card, it should show it. Make sure it's not software. Make sure it uses the hardware. And it shouldn't take long. It should take a minute or two minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to click play because I'm always using the hardware to record this video 
So if there's anything I've missed out or anything that you could help me improve on, or if that's helped you out, let me know in the comments. And if it's really, really helped you out, then like, sub, and also there's a nice thanks button as well. I don't know what other settings you've got when you click thanks, but have a look. Thanks anyway. See you later. Bye-bye.